Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and here we are continuing from last time and we shall fight the battle on the battle map. So Macedon have attacked Athens, they're looking to retake it. I've got a very, very depleted army at the moment. It's looking, not looking good at all. Plenty of experience in that unit and that unit though. So there are some positives. The fire of Hephaestus. Hef Fires of Hephaestus. I think that's how you pronounce it. The defenders of Olympus. Oh, and look at this. We have thunder and lightning. My gate's wide open for some reason. I don't like this at all. Why is my gate open? Unless they've... I don't know. Um, slingers. Can I see where they are before the battle? Oh, they're over on the left-hand flank. Right, so we know where they are. They're coming from here. In that case, <coughs> let's bring all the slingers up. We'll try our best to hold them back for as long as possible. Stick as many on the walls as possible. But there, on the corner, but there. But there. I'm actually going to group these up as well. So I know where I am with them. Oh, we got another one here, light missile. I'll put them... Where's the gate? The gate's all the way over here. Put them here. God. Oh, look at this. This is terrible. Spartan use. So many <laughs> depleted units. I'm hoping together they form pretty decent. Or maybe not. Form phalanx. <laughs> A six-man phalanx. <laughs> Bet you've never seen this on YouTube before. Six-man phalanx. They're all going to have to squash in. Like so. Gives us something. I can put the general there as well. The real phalanx behind. Put a couple of phalanxes in. It's the best I can do, unfortunately. They'll form my third group. And then everything which is remaining put in the centre here. Until I know where they definitely attack. They could end up going of course for this gate uh, over here. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So plenty of units. I'll actually group these up because it's a bit untidy at the moment. There we go, for four groups, in uh, missile troops on the wall, the six-man phalanx, i got to see this, let's have a look, there we go, that's the six-man phalanx, right by there, oh look at the rain, lovely rain effects there, six-man phalanx, with the real phalanx waiting behind my general's unit, then we have my uh, other infantry troops waiting in the back, Waiting to see where they attack. Looks like they're going to go with the ladders. I'm going to fast forward this. Some of these units can start firing now, which is good. If we can take some of these hoplites out, then. That should help us out a lot. Don't know whether the AI is going to actually use the ladders, because a lot of the time in siege battles... Oh, they are using them. Look at this, the AI is actually using the ladders. So we're going to lose out here on the wall. Right, where am I? This is where I need them. Over here. Bring them all up. To help guard against the Macedonians. We are heavily outnumbered in this battle as well. The only full unit I actually have at this battle is my general. Oh, and they're going down the wall. What is going on here? Once they go up, they go back down. This one's going up. This is the general? <laughs> They've actually got the general up here. If we could take him out, then we'd have a big chance of winning this. Well, at least you'd think we would. Power is doing damage. Get them all to fire on him. They're gonna... What are they doing? What is the AI doing? They just had two men up. They could have flanked me on the wall, but they're sending them up here for some reason. 
game is lagging again. Seems to lag a lot when I zoom in. Shouldn't be happening. Stupid game. Right. Um, general is down to 101. These men are going somewhere. I don't know where. They've put three ladders. Oh, it's irritating. They put three ladders up. Only the general's gone up. The other two have gone for walkies. These men are coming up to support. Gonna lose most of my missile troops. You would think. They are taking. The general is taking some losses. Which is good. Oh, this game is lagging again. You might not notice it in the actual video once this is uploaded, but I'm noticing it right now. The performance is dropping. I'm not even zooming in that much as well. I tend to stay. I get a clear view of the battlefield and what is happening. But look at this, it's lagging by there. It's, ugh, terrible. Don't know whether it's the re weather effects, the rain. Sparta! I wouldn't have picked the rain if I uh, had a choice. I always pick dry weather just in case. But the game, you know, that ruins the game really. You should be able to play in any weather. Of course, in like Shogun 2, weather effects play a big role. If you've got fog or rain, it does affect your bow, inf your bow troops. Bow samurai and Yari samurai and etc etc you know what I mean so but in this game you know, I wouldn't pick rain because of the graphical issues and the bugs and stuff so I can send these men up out of spite and run them up as well but if this, if this keep, keeps carrying on this has happened once in my Carthage campaign I can't remember what episode I think it was it was the episode where I siege Carthage I had a terrible battle there where it just lagged out completely I won the battle but the game is so unplayable. It's horrible to play. Lag like hell. I mean, look at this. Yeah, the AI isn't even doing anything. It's legendary difficulty, and the AI is just camping with all its troops here. They got javelin men, which they could bring up and skirmish with me. They've got three ladders at the wall, and to send them all the way around. Where's my gate? Over here. Look how far away this gate is. They're going to send them all the way to the gate. By this time, the general could be dead. Just isolate the general. Here we go, we're killing him now. If possible, I will try to kill the general. Go on, kill the general, out of spite. These four troops. We're gonna march to the gate. Nope, wrong gate. This is the gate. <laughs> gate's wide open. Look, why is the gate wide open? I want to know that. Oh, is it because I... Ah, I know, silly. In the last battle, in the last part, I took the city and I burnt the gate down. And it hasn't been repaired because in the end turn phase. Silly me. Okay, I admit that one. That one was my mistake. But yeah, generally speaking... Generally speaking, uh, the game is just so... bad you know it's badly optimized and my point I just made just now if it didn't make sense to you I'll try to explain it again quickly I shouldn't have to to play a game on dry settings weather settings to enjoy the game I should be allowed to play the game on uh, any weather I want if I want to play in the fog or the rain to try to make it easier for my for myself because the enemy got a lot of bow a lot of archers, a lot of peltas, and I should be able to. It shouldn't be that the the game rains like this now, this battle, which the AI has picked. It shouldn't be that I can't play in this weather because because of the uh, bad lagging and the bad optimization. Because you know I've got a good good uh, settings. I got 16 gig of RAM. I've got an i5 2500K processor, and I have a GTX 2 gig 770 Nvidia graphics card so none of this should be a problem this is play Shogun 2 like a dream and it's, it's this at the moment this kind of siege battle and bad graphics and stuff which you know I do enjoy the game don't get me wrong I enjoy the game but there's so much at the moment which which could be improved and the game it does get a bit disheartening when you do try to play a campaign especially for YouTube when there's people that's going to be watching this, you know, they're, they're going to want to enjoy it, and I don't know whether it comes across in some of my videos, but I, sometimes it, it comes across perhaps that I may not be actually enjoying this because 
it's irritating to play because the graphics are in fact so bad. I, mean, I zoom in like this and it becomes... At the moment it's not too bad. At the moment that looks pretty good but they may engage a unit now and they might start lagging again. Don't know. Anyway enough about me moaning because <laughs> I don't think you enjoy me moaning so I'll just leave that like that. So where are we? We are defending Athens. Hoplites already. Oh this camera irritating on Legendary. He seems to stop moving and then actually gets the point we're defending. So they're getting through the gates. They're going to be taking that gate so, uh, soon. What have we got? We've got these three, these four units. Uh, where can we go? We'll try... Just put them here. We'll take these guys out easily. What have they got left then? They have... They're just camping. They're just camping over here. One, two, three, four units of javelin plus two units of cavalry. And this is going to probably do my head in because this happened I think in episode two or three of this campaign when when I was defending Athens. Same battle against Macedon, defending Athens and they just camped outside the city and I had to wait until the timer runs out. Oh, it just does my head in, that kind of thing. I'm going to fast forward this as well because it's getting a bit, oh, you know, <laughs> a bit of a yawn fest. So they are taking, oh they haven't taken the gate for some reason. See, that's stupid, why didn't they take the gate? Advance. My people, advance. Perioikai, Spearman. Form Hoplites. Down to 42 and 69. God, they depleted. Heavily depleted. For glory. Gonna flank around to the side with this unit. Try and bring this one into the rear as well so we can surround them. Come on. So unresponsive sometimes. Trying to take them around. There we go. And then, was I am? Right in the back. Rapid advance, if we can charge into them. There we go. Straight away. Wavering. Excellent work. Both of them are wavering. One unit's gone. And the second unit is gone. So, we've repelled everything that's been thrown at us so far. Siege battles are just so thing in this game. And what are they going to do now? Oh, it's going to happen again. Look at this. They're just sitting there. They're just sitting there. This is legendary difficulty, people. This is... Oh, so irritating. My job is to sit inside the city and defend it from the AI. I have formed... Sparta! All of these units are highlighted against this wall and I've put into phalanx any unit which can phalanx I have put my missile troops on the wall to repel like anybody else would do I have oh my camera is doing it again legendary difficulty stopped me from seeing my units I have to do this to get to see them oh more units hop the tails over here charge them in form up here why are they throwing one unit at me at 11 -0? They put three ladders up. Put three ladders up and they sent... They sent one unit up the ladder. The general. Threw the general into a suicide mission up the ladders. And then sent two other units around the flank. So, yeah. This does piss you off a little bit. I think I might go back to Shogun 2 and start doing Shogun 2 Let's Plays once this campaign's out of the way. Because it is doing my head in at the moment. I won't lie to you people. Right, fly in, getting some shots away with my javelin men. Gonna throw these three units in. Put this one behind to reinforce, but we won't need to because they're wavering. And uh, you know, this is definitely this is legendary difficulty. Few people that don't believe. Look, tactical map is out. Arrow is out here. It's on legendary settings. I mean, the campaign. The campaign AI is pretty good on Legendary, I think, but this just isn't. I'm just going to leave my troops here because they're not going to do anything. They have no more units today. Nothing at sea. No units are going to surprise me. There's two ships over here, so ah, 
<laughs> well, there's your answer, but there. there. Ah, right. This unit by here. This is what I'm saying. One, they throw in one unit in. I was thinking this, there must be more units, reinforcements. So there's two ships have embarked here, and you can see a death trail all the way across where my arrow tower has been whittling it away, whittling away until you get to over here where they're still getting shot at and they're down to 83 so they've lost a lot of men one third of their unit they're gonna come through the front gate so pretty obvious what I'm gonna do slingers, slingers. put them to there Petty Oikoi spears to the left Spear infantry by here. Spartans. Phalanx by here. Fast forward this because it's boring. Fast forwarding. You know what? I might, I might actually. I've got quite a few videos up on my channel now of Shogun of my Shogun of Total War Rome Two. I am thinking perhaps making a video where I highlight some of the failings of the AI. I know there's a lot of other people who have done this kind of thing on their channels but I think I got enough footage <laughs> to actually make one as a fan of the series it is a bit a bit irritating sending one unit in like this, oh they're not even gonna look at this, they're not even gonna attack me they're camping, the AI is camping, oh what are they doing now I don't know what they're doing run that way, run this way it's like fighting a bunch of Macedonian um, I don't know, <laughs> Macedonian psychiatric patients that don't know which way is left and which way is right. They're just just sitting there in the rain, or standing there in the rain. Is my tower even firing? What's this? What's this on my wall? Oh, my slingers, they're running away. Oh, they sent in. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh my god, the AI is saved. <laughs> I didn't even notice this. They actually send the men in. They're trying to send men in. They're going to send the cavalry head on into my spears by the looks of it. Let's bring some more units up to reinforce. This, even, this isn't even all my units. Oh, wait a minute. The AI is improving. Look at this. They've got all the. They've actually kicked out from here. They've got all the javelin men by here. Five units by the looks of it. But they're not going to use the ladders, because that would be too easy. They're just going to sit there. My Peltas can fire upon them, because the Peltas just don't give a fuck. Oh, and the camera's doing it again. I'm trying to push forward, and I just can't get forward. Here we go. We are forward. And what's happened? It looks like the cavalry has been defeated. They don't want to know. I'm going to fast forward again, because... Because, you know... <laughs> this uh, this unit should have supported, but it hasn't. It just sat there. I mean, the battle AI isn't too bad, and what I was alluding to earlier was the campaign AI on legendary difficulty. It's pretty good, you know. It does have fairly lo strong armies. This is a fairly strong army that I'm apparently against today. But look at it. It's just running the cavalry around. <laughs> They're rat running the cavalry around, taking shots from my tower. It isn't even going to try and go into the door the gate. Oh, now it is. Oh, and look at this boiling oil. And they're gone. There we go. One horse remaining. Run away, don't blame it. This unit doesn't know what it's doing. It's come all the way around from from over here. Disembarked two units. They've marched along here, taken many, many deaths, many, many hits. Till it's got around to here and it's decided to stop here and camp got all these units of javelin men which have three ladders over here and one at the far end over here haven't been used the only unit to have used the ladder in this entire battle is the general which flung up in a suicide mission with all my units just defeated it on the wall and killed the general early on I've camped at this gate no one's come towards the gate I've camped at this gate hardly nothing's even come through the gate apart from the two units that came through earlier when I only had a few units here I've now got all these units here and it's just a matter of times that I win. I think I don't even have to... Where's the, egg, uh, the timer? Here it is. 
you win if the timer runs out. There we go, it says it's down at the bottom corner. Pity I'm going to cavalry because I just mow them all down with my cavalry right now. Then this unit's not going to do anything, it's just going to camp like before. Oh, is it not? Hang on. Hey, they're moving. Look at this, the AI. Oh, wait a minute. What are they doing? I'm more interested in looking at this unit than fighting this battle. <laughs> oh, and they're wavering. Look at that. Oh, they're, they're gone. They're going to be gone, and they have for some reason they just got off their ships, run around, and they're just going to not attack me. My tower's just done all the work. My get oh, where is it? The ladders are over here. They haven't been used. I think they're the last unit remaining. The sling, the javelin men, and the slingers just thought, "Fuck this! We've had enough. We're going to run off." Yeah, my men are just sitting there. I mean, look how depleted my army is. They could have easily, easily taken this settlement. I have Spartan youths with six men in it. I have Perioikoi Hoplites with six men in it. I have Helot Slingers with half a unit. I have Perioikoi Peltasts with 29 men remaining. The only full unit I have is my general, and that's because he's a brand new general. <laughs> that's, all, that's, that's the only reason why I lost my general in the last battle. But this has just been... Oh, there's been no challenge. Literally. I sent men up here to defend and I defended it successfully. But I, w I probably would have lost this corner of the wall if the AI had actually sent both units up these ladders. But for some stupid reason the AI decided, nope, these two units are going to run all the way around the settlement to the gate which is open. Suicidal. Suicidal AI taking arrow hits from this tower, taking arrow hits from this tower until it gets to here, taking further arrow hits from this tower over here until eventually being completely decimated once it gets through the gate. But if it used them here, it might actually still use them. What's it doing? What is the AI doing? I gotta see this. I, mean, I do apologise, like this, this episode has turned to a rant and it's not the first episode in the Sparta Let's Play to turn to a rant but there's not much I can do about it I, I'm apologizing right now because the AI is just acting so dumb I mean look at this 51 men remaining this unit has disembarked the other side of the map it's walked all the way around the city it hasn't even attempted to go through the gate I have a very very look at this I have hardly anything at the gate and it looks like it's going to attempt to go through the gate Oh, it's wavered. There we go, victory. Yeah! End battle. I barely did anything in this battle. I only lost 160 men. They lost <laughs> over a thousand. And I wish I could say I'd, I'd take the credit for that victory, but it's down to the AI being stupid. Most of these units haven't even got... Look at that. No kills, no kills, no kills. <laughs> Three kills, two kills. Barely did anything. And there we go successfully repelled Macedon. If you've got a city with walls, you'll win most of your battles, I think. And I kill the captives out of spite because they piss me off so much. Seleucid. That was just so frustrating. Why is the camera staying in here? I thought after a battle it would actually swoop back round. Maybe I'm just being too cynical today. That battle did piss me off a lot. That's the second one now in this campaign. And this is patch 8, I think. Oh, look at this. We're going to lose. Oh, we've... We could be wiped out here. Mind you, this is a C... No, a Sparta, of course. Garrison probably get annihilated. I'm going to auto-resolve this. I won't win this battle. Don't stand a chance in this battle. they got siege equipment. This is the big army from... From uh, Pela. I still have Athens though, so I can, can breathe still, I think, in this campaign. 
Lost the wrist. Lost the wrist. Although we've lost, lost everything apart from Athens. Rate of command. Increase in rank. Research complete. Capital lost. What? Oh, your new co your new stronghold is Athens. That's okay. I thought it said I lost Athens then. So this is it. So after that stupid battle, we've lost Clarissa, Sparta. We have Athens though. We've got a whole lot for dear life here. I'm going to end the episode there before I <laughs> before I kick something. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>